Ah. <laughs> Just having trouble connecting this, this, uh, what do you call it? Selfie stick remote control. I hope you're alright, family. Mark 6, verse 12. And they went out and they preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. I've just done that with my feet. And, and uh, brother, brother Lee prayed for me as well. And my feet are all right now. So, <laughs> so it works. Anoint that oil. I, I carry it around with me now all the time. Well, anyway, let me just try. I'll just try on this one first, and then, then I'm going to try on the other one. Oh Lord, help me, please. I need. frequency so so really just peers into the atmosphere on the end so it doesn't keep tapping the microphone but it still keeps to tap it it's difficult to play it with this mic microphone and, and not tap the mic
bit more scripture. Oh Lord, I just opened the book and I'd just be something without even planning it, Lord. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall you know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no more strangers pass through her any more. So, I just remind you of that, that dream I had. It was just, that was Mount Zion where I was on. I don't know how, I don't know how I actually got up there. I don't, I don't. I might have flown up there, but I just remembered the back end of the dream. Um, well, so suddenly I'm on the top of this giant, enormous uh, mountain, <laughs> and um, it seemed to be like a cave at the top of it, and there was just icicles, stalagmites and stalactites, is that what you call them? You know, there's big icicles coming from the ceiling and from the floor, but it wasn't cold. <laughs> and. Um, it was like a right at the top of the mountain. It was, it was like a cave, and there was all these dinner tables set out, and this nice man invited me in there, and um, there was tables of four, tables of six set out, and, and um, I, I couldn't see that far into the, this cave. To, oh, got a bit of a headache then. Maybe that such a high note. <laughs> it's, it's like a cat screaming. Um, anyway, so. I go in there and I'm about to sit down and I think it's the same gen gentleman. I think I think he was a dark skinned bloke. And he took me to the foot of the, the cave opening and I saw down below massive mountains like Everest or something, you know. Huge, but compared to this one, they were they were right down there, you know. And it was night and I saw this star falling, falling from heaven, it went really quite fast, like this. And then I woke up, and I, I believe that is when revelation, woe unto the earth and to the inhabitants thereof. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. So I don't think he's got access into the third heaven anymore. I, I don't think so. Um... He accuses us before God. It does say that in in uh, the Bible. I need to find that scripture because again, I've got this all, all these false translations still back in my mind, and I'm you know and I've got to unlearn all that because it's so so deceiving. It really is. Um, what was I saying now? Um, well, Jesus said, "I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven." But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And yeah, he knew. He knew. He'd already seen it. <laughs> you know, he's God. So whether whether the devil accuses us day and night or something like this, it says, before the Father, um, whether he's still got access. I hope he hasn't. <laughs> I don't want him any access except access into the lake of fire. <laughs> thrust down into the lake of fire that's what I want to see um, not because I want to s see anybody, anything tormented particularly just just that just, so there'll be an end to him because Satan has an end so um, I believe I believe now that there's come in we're going to rise up to a new level we really are all born again believers the devils that are afflicting us, they're going to drop those weapons. We're going to pick them up and we're going to fight. And those devils are going to run to the mountains. <laughs> that's Kent Christmas's prophecy and I, I know it was true. Holy Spirit witnessed to me that's true. 
So, all right. It's funny that I opened that there. Yeah. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. So, all right, family, I, I hope you're well. I'm, I'm okay. It's been a spiritual warfare off the charts. We really need each other. Let me pray for you all. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray that you just guide me in this prayer for everyone right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, first of all, Lord, I ask the loose to bless them. Bless them, Lord God, with the fire and anointing of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray every witchcraft, every occultic work broken off their lives. I pray for your glory's sake, Lord God, for your glory's sake. You bless them with your blessing that makes rich. Make your face shine upon them, Lord God. You shine upon them. So somebody, somebody's got um, a thumbnail in the comments, but it's a the, the Egyptian false god of light. But Jesus Christ. And uh, hold on. That Jesus Christ was the true light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. So I pray you shine your light upon them all, Lord God. Be gracious unto them for your glory's sake. Remind them that they have a spirit of not of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind, Lord God. So speak your power into them. Lift up the beauty of your countenance upon them. Give them peace. And help them and me, Lord God, to rise up to a new level, Lord God, to maintain a good relationship with you, Lord God. Help us to be obedient and fast and pray and anoint ourselves with oil and anoint others with oil and heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. Give people discernment and wisdom when casting out devils, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill them with your love perfect love which casteth out fear in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for everyone watching amen so yeah there's so many people that the Lord's brought up to me lately and that I hadn't actually completely forgiven I'd, I must have held on to some things of the past so I'm not going to go into that I'm not you know, it doesn't matter, I forgive everyone. I, I want to forgive everyone, everyone what they've done to me. Um, it doesn't matter. Like I said, we, we're, not to, we're not to repay evil with evil. So some people have said to me, you know, send back the arrows back to them like this. But that's repaying evil with evil. And we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're not, we bless those that persecute us. Uh, bless them that curse you, bless and, and curse not. And, you know, so really sending, there it's, it's like we're practicing witchcraft. If they're doing witchcraft and upon us, we're, we send it back to them. Um, that's not the right way to, to, to go about it. I don't think I don't think so. If anybody has got any scripture to back up, sending it back upon them, then let me know because um, I know there's stuff in the Psalms and everything. But Jesus said, um, "A new commandment I give you that you love one another. Love works no ill to his neighbour. Love is the fulfilling of the law of God." So. Um, except you obviously don't love the foul spirits and the demons. Um, no, we we abhor them, detestable things. I mean, can you imagine why why would they leave? Why would they leave that such beautiful high-ranking angels like Lucifer, you know, archangel, and leave that glory because he wanted not only to be like God, but, but to basically replace God, and that's what he seeks to be worshipped. He's got so many enslaved to him, and um, 
I don't like to see people enslaved to him, and I would like them to be set free. Witches, warlocks, Satanists, etc. And they can be, if they would just take that step of faith and believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, they need saving and forgiveness of sin because if any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him, as 1 John says. And um, all have sinned, Romans 3.23, and we all come short of the glory of God. And Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. That means hell. So that p the people, if you're practicing that, anybody, I know most of you on this channel are not, but if you're practicing, if you're doing anything else except worshiping the one true God, the light of the world, Jesus Christ, you will end up in hell, in outer darkness, weeping, wailing, where the worm never dies, where the fire never goes out, to the chambers of death, where there are instruments of death waiting the persecutors, where they'll be utterly consumed with terrors forever. Is it worth it? You're not even guaranteed to wake up tomorrow. So the most important thing is to lay hold of your salvation, eternal life, doing one thing only, one thing. Don't let the devil take you down to hell by carrying on to worship him. I know I'm, I'm not talking to you believers, I'm talking to anybody that is practicing witchcraft. Turn, turn from him now. Don't, don't fear him, fear the almighty, which have the keys um, of hell and of death. Satan doesn't have them. Jesus Christ has them. And um, Jesus said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So except you change your mind and believe on Jesus and what he did for us on the cross, the gospel, that's where you'll end up. And I don't want anybody to... It breaks my heart thinking about it. People in my life, you know, and stuff that... I don't want to see it. So just believe 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures on that cross, he died, shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin. And it's your lifetime of sin that is will not be remembered. He was buried and he rose again from the dead according to the scriptures on the third day as it is written. Believe that in your heart and call upon him and boom, you'll be saved. And those devils no longer are able to possess you. Or they might continue to oppress you and it might take a bit of prayer but, um, and it might take some battle to get them out of your life. You'll have to get every, rid of every cursed object because the Bible says don't bring any cursed object into your house lest you become like unto it. So get rid of those tarot cards, Ouija boards, divining rods, the list goes on, charms, amulets, talismans, so much more, voodoo dolls, all this stuff, pentagrams, all that stuff is cursed. And you brought it into your house, well, the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just, you can become that just person if you're practicing witchcraft by turning to the Lord Jesus Christ in truth. Just be honest and humble. Think about it because it's your eternity. You're forsaking eternity if you're practicing witchcraft or worshiping the devil. You're forsaking your eternity where you'll be utterly consumed with terrors forever. Where there's no joy, where there's no light, where there's no peace. There's no, everything opposite to good is what you'll find down there. So, and more. So, anyway. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for these people. Pray for them. That God would change their hearts. That they would be convicted. Because, uh, look on YouTube at how many testimonies of Satanists, ex-Satanists and witches you'll see. There's so many. Could do a live stream, but um, I'd have to. I have to plan the live stream a bit, a bit more. Well, I have to plan these really. I should be planning these a bit more as well. 
because um, I didn't even have any scripture apart from that one from Mark about, and they went around teaching that everyone should repent casting out devils and anointing them that were sick with oil and healed them I'd be happy if you turn it on <laughs> shop today and get some uh, another instrument but I forgot so I have to wait till Monday now so I'm just gonna keep practicing with the different instruments and because it helps it helps me a lot helps pass use the time uh, worship the Lord I actually pray, play it better when I when I'm not conscious of being filmed and uh, I get you know that but this distracts me a little bit and then no don't play it quite as well Unless I could just put the camera somewhere over there and just forget about it, or have it facing away from me, maybe I don't know, because it just it makes me look up and I and I lose my position on the, the holes. You look at all the holes that's on that, and you got one on the back as well. So uh, that's just blue tack to stop the banging on the microphone. Anyway, I love you, family. The joy of the Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength, and let's. Rise above. I pray the Lord crushes the serpent's head under all of our feet and sets our feet upon a rock in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. We can do all things through Jesus Christ, which strengthens us. Amen. <laughs> 